Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about EC2 instance types. Let's begin. What do we mean by instance types? When you launch an EC2 instance, the instance type that you specify determines the hardware of the host computer used for your instance. Each instance type offers different compute, memory, and storage capabilities and are grouped into what is known as instance families based on these capabilities. You select an instance type based on the requirements of the application or software that you plan to run on your EC2 instance. Amazon EC2 provides each instance with a consistent and predictable amount of CPU capacity regardless of its underlying hardware. To understand this, let's dive straight into the AWS console. All right. I'm at the AWS EC2 console and I'm going to try and launch an EC2 instance. So I'm going to click on this button over here called launch instance. The first step is to choose an Amazon machine image. We spoke about this in the last video. If you've not got a chance to look at that, I'd encourage you to go back, look at that video and come back over here. Right now, I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI. On step two, we are required to choose an instance type. Over here, we can see that we have something called as an instance family. We then have the instance type, virtual CPUs, memory, instance storage, EBS optimized available, network performance, and support for IPv6. When we look at the family, we have different families of EC2 instance. For example, we have general purpose, compute optimized, GPU compute, and so on. Every instance family has multiple instance types over here. We can see that we have T2 Nano, T2 Micro, T2 Small, and so on. What exactly are the differences? We'll take a look at this on the AWS website. So I've opened up a page over here which says Amazon EC2 instance types. The URL is simple. I'll leave that in the description of this video. You can take a look at it. So it says, Amazon EC2 provides a wide selection of instance types optimized to fit different use cases. Instance types comprise varying combinations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking capacity. Each instance type includes one or more instance sizes, allowing you to scale your resources to the requirements of your target workload. And we see that over here, we have five different instance families. We have general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, accelerated computing, and storage optimized. In each of these instance families, we have multiple instance types. For example, in general purpose, the first one is T2. So T2 is an instance type. There's a description over here that says T2 instances are burstable performance instances that provide a baseline of CPU performance with the ability to burst above the baseline. And you have some more description about it. You have some features listed over here. And then you have some use cases over here as well. So T2 instances are best for websites and web applications. Also in the general purpose family, we have the M4 instances, which are the latest generation of general purpose instances. It provides a balance of compute, memory, and network resources. And you have some use cases listed over here as well. It works well for small and mid-sized databases and so on. And then you have the M3 type of instances, which also provides a balance of compute, memory, and network resources, and it's designed for specific use cases. Over here, we have the different instance types from the general purpose family listed with the different configurations available with each instance type. Moving on to compute optimized, we have the C4 instances, which are latest generation compute optimized instances, featuring the highest performing processors and the lowest price to compute performance in EC2. It has use cases like front end fleets, web servers, batch processing, and so on. We then have C3 instance types, which are SSD backed instance storage, and we're going to talk more about all of this. What do we mean by SSD? What do we mean by EBS? And so on. 
and then you have all the instance types listed over here. Similarly, we also have memory optimized instances, which gives you a lot of memory. So you have the X1 instances, which are optimized for large scale enterprise class in memory applications and high performance databases. So it gives you a lot of memory. And these are optimized for use cases like big data processing, Apache Spark, Presto, and so on. We also have the R4 instances, which are optimized for memory intensive applications and offer better price per gigabyte of RAM than the R3 instances. It has use cases like high performance databases, data mining, and so on. Moving on, we have the next family of instances called as accelerated computing. We have the P2 instance type, which is intended for general purpose GPU compute applications. Over here, we have the configuration for GPU available for comparison. The P2 instances are optimized for applications like machine learning, high performance databases, seismic analysis, and so on. You then have the G3 type of instances, which are optimized for 3D visualizations, graphic intensive workloads, and so on. And then you have the F1 instances, which offer customizable hardware acceleration with field programmable gate arrays. These are optimized for workloads like real-time video processing, big data search, and so on. And then lastly, we have the storage optimized instance types. The first instance type is the i3 high input output instances. These are suited for use cases like NoSQL databases like Cassandra, MongoDB, Redis, and so on. You then have D2, which is the dense storage instances. It gives you a lot of storage. You can see that over here. We have big numbers on this column. These are suited for applications like massively parallel processing data warehousing applications, MapReduce, Hadoop, and so on. So as you can see, AWS actually offers you different instance families and different instance types for different types of workloads. From the examination perspective, we don't have to remember all these values. But generally speaking, it's a good idea to know which of the instance types suits which workloads. As we learn AWS, we're going to be using the general purpose instance family, and specifically, we're going to be using T2 Micro. And that's because T2 Micros are free tier eligible. So we can actually do the labs with T2 Micro. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about the different EC2 instance purchase options. It's a very interesting one. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Thank you.